Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for joining me today. So I wanted to sit down and share with you guys how I like to wear a red lip. Now I definitely am not the type of person that wears a red lip very often, but when I do, there's a couple of things that I feel like have to happen to really make it work for me. So today's video is basically a makeup tutorial on things that I like to do and not do when I wear a red lip. If you guys are interested in seeing how I did my red lip and what I like to use and how I like to do it, then please keep on watching. So today we're gonna to jump right in with our foundation and I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the shade Y245. This is a great foundation if you're wanting a little bit more light of a coverage. It can certainly be built up to a full coverage but because it's a runnier consistency, it can be sheared out really easily. I just find that a lighter coverage foundation works really, really well for this, especially if you're doing a bolder lip, particularly a red lip. I really like my coverage to come more from my concealer, just where I need it, rather than there being kind of a full mask of foundation all over my face. I really want kind of the natural texture of my skin to show through. Next I'm going in with the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer in the shade Light. This is a really high coverage concealer from the drugstore. For a while I really didn't like this concealer because I thought it was just a little bit too heavy for me, but I've kind of recently pulled it back out and kind of learned if I use just a little bit, it actually works really, really well for me. It gives me great coverage. It's um, definitely a little bit more thicker of a consistency, but as long as I kind of warm it up first and then blend it in with a sponge, I find that it sits really well on top of the skin and also conceals particularly some of my pigmentation areas, which if you have any hyperpigmentation or acne scarring, you probably will know that those are very, very hard to cover and sometimes they peek through a lot of different concealers that I've tried, but this one works really well. Now I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Fair. I have really been loving this as an eyeshadow primer lately. It's a little bit too light for the rest of my skin, but it works fantastically as a primer just to kind of cancel out any sort of discoloration you might have in your eyeshadows, but it also lasts really well. So if you have problems with eyeshadows creasing on you or transferring, this will kind of hold them into place. Now I'm taking my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just using this very lightly to set a couple selective areas on my face. I mainly like to take this kind of on my cheekbone area just to prep for bronzer and um, blush and then also on my eyelids. I'm going to take the ColourPop um, bronzer, this is a bronzer, in the color Private Party, and I am taking that just kind of right on my cheekbones. It's kind of acting as a bronzer slash contour. Most of the time, I kind of, this is kind of how I do my bronzer. I like it to kind of warm up my face, but also give me a little bit of definition kind of on the outsides of my face. This is a really great bronzer. I really love the color of it in particular. It has, um, kind of a very nice neutral but slightly warm undertone which I really love for my face. Now I'm going in with one of my very favorite blushes of all time. This is Max Margin. Such a pretty blush. I really love this especially if you're kind of going for a little bit more of like a bronzy peachy look on your cheeks. This gives you just a really nice kind of glow. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. I'm just prepping my lips because I'm going to be doing a red lip today. I want them to be exfoliated very well. Then I'm going to go into the ColourPop Kathleen Lights Dream Street Palette. And I'm starting out with the shade Magical. And I'm just really kind of liberally running that through the crease. This is just kind of a very light, slightly orange tone transition shade. This is just to kind of help the rest of my shadows to blend really nicely. And then I'm gonna go and take the color Shooting Star. This is just slightly da darker and a little bit more brown tone than that first color that I added. I'm just concentrating that a little bit more into the actual kind of socket line. I'm taking a couple layers of this just until I get it to kind of deepen things up just a little bit. I find that it works best if you kind of layer things on rather than going in with too much product and then worrying about having to blend it out. Then I'm gonna take the shade Elfish. This is kind of the dark brown color in the palette and just really concentrate that right at the outer kind of V area, lash line area. I love doing this just to kind of smoke things out a little bit, give me a little bit more definition. I also find that it makes my, when I go in with a liner, makes it look a little bit more natural and smoky. Now I'm taking that second shade that I used in the color Shooting Star 
I'm running that just below the lash line. Once I place it there, I'm going to take kind of the fluffier end of that brush. That's just a really old Eco Tools brush that I have. I think it's, they don't even make that brush anymore, but I'm just blending that out. Then I'm taking the darker shade and adding that just to the outer portion of the lash line. This is just kind of to connect up to that smoky kind of area that I did there at the outer V, just to make it look very seamless and kind of all uniform and blended. And again, I'm just kind of buffing that out with, you could really use any small buffing brush. Next, I'm going to go into that same ColourPop palette. And this is kind of a like gold iridescent sort of, I think, lid topper. This is a really pretty shade. It's called Sweet Dreams. This is a really interesting color. I don't think I have anything else similar to this in my collection. Now I'm taking an individual shadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one's in the color Legend. It's just kind of a champagne gold color. It's a really beautiful inner corner highlight. I even like to use it on my lids sometimes when I want a really very neutral lid. Now I am taking the L'Oreal Infallible Liner. This is the Never Fail Liner in black. And I put that on my waterline. Then I'm taking the Essence Super Fine Liquid Liner Pen in the color Deep Black. And I'm just running that along the upper lash line and then winging, winging it out slightly. I don't want my wing to be too intense or too big. I definitely like a more subtle wing, but I have to be honest. Liquid liner is a huge struggle for me, and I think it doesn't matter what product I use. I've tried quite a few different ones, but I really struggle to get those lines to look the same. I usually can end up getting each eye to look nice, but they rarely look the same. I don't know. Does anyone else have that trouble with liquid liner? <laughs> I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl on both sides. Now I'm taking my Rimmel Volume Accelerator Mascara. I love this mascara and I have heard recently that they're discontinuing it, which makes me so sad because this is one of the handful of mascaras that I've actually repurchased at least three or four times. I really love this one. It's great for creating really nice definition and length. It's not a very like voluminous, even though it's a, it says it's a volume mascara, it's definitely not super volumizing, but it gives a lot of length. Now I'm taking my IT Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil and I applied that through my brows. I don't know what happened to the footage, but I did put it in my brows. <laughs> I'm going in with my e.l.f. Clear Brow Mascara. Then I'm just taking a little bit of concealer and just concealing any spots around my skin. This is probably one of the most important tips for wearing a red lip is concealing any spots that have any redness in them. Because once you put the red lip on, you're going to find that those areas of redness or scarring that you have are kind of brought out a little bit if they're not concealed really well. Then I took my ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter and I just applied that on my upper lip and kind of on my cheekbone there. It's definitely a very intense highlight, but I wanted to try it out. I was curious to see what it would look like on top of my cheekbones because it is quite glittery. It looks great in video, but I have to say if I was going to be outside, I'm not sure. It's a little bit too glittery for my liking. I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray and just applying that everywhere, letting it dry. And now I'm going in with a liner. This is really important if you want a really good red lip, especially if you're not doing a liquid form of a red lip, like a liquid lipstick. You want to make sure your lips are lined really well because otherwise you might get issues with feathering, especially those of you that are a little bit older or if you have a lot of texture around your lips, you really need to make sure that you line them with a good pencil so that you don't get your red lip kind of feathering outside the edges or into your fine lines, which can definitely happen and happens a lot with my lips, I find. This particular liner is from Jordana and it is in the color Sedona Red. Then I like to take just a little tissue or like a blotting pad and just sort of kind of almost blot that liner out just to make sure that it lasts really well. And then I'll go in with my red lip product. Today I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the color Frenchie. Such a good red. I really, really love this red. And I'm just applying that just inside that lip liner. And then if you have any areas that maybe it got outside the lines, you can just touch that up with a cotton swab. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I really love how this turned out. I am a huge fan of this 
type of red lip and wearing it this way, I think doing kind of a very neutral face, a neutral eye, a nice wing liner always looks good with a red lip, very classy. But this particular shade, and I think any type of bright, almost orange toned red, looks so flattering on so many people. I think it's very brightening to the face and almost, even though it's brighter, it almost makes it more wearable and fresh looking. I don't know if that makes sense. But this is just the type of red color that I especially like to wear. I think it really looks good on just about anybody. I know that wearing a red lip can be super intimidating. If you are the type of person that kind of wants to try red but you're a little bit afraid to, give it a try. Try it out a few times and I think that once you wear it a few times you really might come to really love it like I have. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you guys on board. And if you have a particular red lipstick that you really enjoy, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear. And that is it for today. I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.